kind of explain to us a little bit about your path into the industry? Yeah, my uh, path into the industry was essentially running away from a PhD program. I <laughs> went through school, I uh, studied biochemistry, and realized I didn't want to do a PhD. I didn't want to do academic research as I had originally thought. So I was like, okay, what other industries need my yeast research background? So to apply to breweries all over the country and I uh, worked at St. Arnold's in Houston for six years. So that's where I got my start. And it was kind of like, okay, maybe I'll just work for a little bit and then go back to school. But I fell in love with the industry. So I've been doing it ever since. Sure. So you were, cons so I originally, I, I have a history degree mm -hmm. and my, my goal was to be uh, a history professor someday and have like a jacket that had like leather, had like leather patches on the mm -hmm. elbows. Um, you might see me about campus occasionally <laughs> smoking a pipe. Okay. And a thumbing, yeah. thumbing through like a great work of some sort. That mm -hmm. was definitely what I had in mind for myself as like a 22 year old young man. What was the, what was kind of the mindset? Like, cause obviously you didn't go the PhD direction, but what was kind of the goal when you were considering that? Kind of the same thing, but on a science side to it. <laughs> so white lab coat, you know, yeah. teaching lectures and things like that. But once I started working in a lab as part of my research requirement for my undergrad, I could see that my overseeing professor, she wasn't doing as much hands-on lab work. And that's what I love the most yeah. about it. So it kind of showed me, okay, you start, you know, you're doing the teaching side, but then also you're writing grants, you're writing papers. It's a lot less hands-on lab work. Yeah. So that's what I gravitated towards. And I wanted to kind of keep being able to do that, being in the lab, being on my feet and sure. uh, working on the experiments. Sure. And so your, your, your undergrad was in what? Biology? Biochemistry. Biochemistry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then what was, was it just, um, what was the interest in the alcohol side? Did you consider like wine side or, or anything like that or, or di distillation? I had applied to uh, wineries and distilleries. I think the biggest draw with the alcohol was the whole yeast research. So I was doing a lot of yeast propagation yeah. for all of my experiments. So I really got to understand how yeast grows, all the single colonies and things like that, and really got in tune with yeast growth. So then it was like, okay, what other industries have this? So did look at wineries. I really did like the kind of farming aspect sure. of wineries. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of breweries have their own dedicated lab space. So that seemed like a good fit. As far as distilleries, they don't need as much quality control because they've yeah. got so much alcohol. They have a lot of <laughs> yeast strain things, which is super yeah. cool. But you know, the different aspects of quality control really aren't as nuanced as with brewing. So that one kind of felt like the right fit for me. I like that language because it is such a, it is such a mind blower when you think about when you're packaging uh, spirits mm -hmm. as opposed to pa packaging beer. Um, <laughs> there was one place that I was saying, uh, yeah, it, it just blew my mind. Like mm -hmm. the, the whole notion of it, the, the yeah. whole notion, it's, it's so, it's so apples and oranges. Yeah, where I'm like, you know, very detailed with sterile technique and, you know, all these things. They're like, no, it's fine. We're OK. I'm like, sure. oh, all right. <laughs> I guess you got all the alcohol behind you. That's that's cool. <laughs>